Namaste, my kings and queens. I thank you so much for gracing my channel. Your presence is such a present, so it's only right that I reciprocate you with the gift of guided messages. I'm sending you all peace, healing, love, and prosperity. Please make sure you like, share, and subscribe, and leave your comments down below, okay? All right, this is a general reading for the water signs, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. This is a general message, all right, so it may or may not resonate. If you're wanting something a little more personal and specific, you're welcome to book a private reading with me. That information will be in the description box below, okay? I hope you all are doing well on today, whenever you are viewing this video. Okay, so we're going to hop in with the tarot. All right. And see what's going on with your energy water signs. All right. What's going on with the water signs? Provide me with messages for my water signs. Since this is general, it may be love messages, spiritual messages, career, finance, all right? We have the full card here, all right? So some of you are embarking on a new beginning or taking a leap of faith in regards to something that is unfamiliar, all right? That is uh, Aries energy as well. Some of you may be dealing with an Aries or have an Aries around you or that even that might even be in your chart all right okay then we have the seven of wands all right i feel like for some of you you have been possibly fighting against this or defending this new uh this new beginning or this new path you're wanting to take, all right? I feel like you all are willing to put in the work though, all right? This is fast moving energy as far as the wands, all right? So if there is a new beginning you are wanting to take a leap of faith on, it's the, the perfect time to do it. We have the high priestess, there you are, Pisces. All right, so I feel like your intuition is guiding you towards this new beginning, okay? I feel like for some of you, you're stuck in the middle, stuck in the middle. <laughs> you're not knowing, um, or you weren't sure if this leap of faith was going to be beneficial, all right? I'm seeing here um, a lot of you are maybe needing to um, follow your intuition or tap more into your issue intuition here. But I feel like this leap of faith is going to be very successful. I'm also getting throat chakra here because I'm seeing a lot of blue. Yeah, but both of these cards look very whimsical and very carefree. So I feel like for whatever you are trying to move forward with, do it with ease okay you guys also may be keeping um keeping some secrets in regards to this or you're keeping this from a pisces or from an aries all right some of you may be dealing with another water sign such as a pisces all right we have the hermit here yeah so um i feel like intuitively you're knowing that um being in this point of solitude is very important for you right now, okay? You're provided with the energy to really think this thing through, alrighty? A lot of you, I feel like, are on a journey um, to finding yourself. I'm also getting this energy as if a lot of you were too carefree, alright? And that's why you're a little more um, reluctant to just take a leap of faith. I feel like some of you, the outcome wasn't too good. That's why you're maybe a little hesitant or you're keeping a secret about a move you're trying to make. All right. We have the four of wands. Okay, could it be in regards to 
a relationship, a connection, a soulmate connection. All right. All right. It could be a, a relationship you're trying to defend here. Or maybe there's a secret proposal. Could be with a Virgo. All right. And then we have the Queen of Cups. There you are, water signs. Yeah, you're thinking this thing through. You're very you're being very calculated with your steps in regards to this new love or this relationship or this marriage or this connection. All right. So let's see here. We have the King of Swords. Could you guys be dealing with an air sign? All right. And then we have the Lovers here. Yeah, some of you could be dealing with a Gemini. Or maybe a Gemini was very honest with you. Um, or I'm really getting proposal very strong here. Let's see. I'm going to actually clarify with the Romance Angel. Why is the full card here? Why is the full card here for my water signs? Express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. Yeah, the universe is stating go ahead and make the romantic gesture. A lot of you have been um, reflecting and thinking that this is going to be the best move yeah spirit is saying express your love okay what's the seven of wands with the four of wands yeah i'm getting if you're going from the seven to the four of wands some of you may have eased up may have relaxed a little bit more may have after going into hermit mode and being a high priestess mode you're being a little more um you're being a little more gentle around this idea of commitment, all right? It is safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all, all right? So it is safe for you to love. Express your love, water signs, okay? Some of you may be so in love with someone and you're just not really conveying or expressing that the way you need to or even for the way your partner needs you to, okay? I feel like they've expressed your love. They've expressed their love to you very easily. And it's time for you to express your love, okay? It's safe for you to love. What's the High Priestess and the Queen of Cups? I feel like, too, with this Queen of Cups, a lot of you have been hurt in the past, and you're just very reluctant, and you're very cautious when it comes to commitment. You're needing to know this is real. Release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. All right. So there could be an ex around you that is trying to energetically stop you from moving forward to someone new here. All right. I feel like this is this was a codependent. Yeah, we have deception at the bottom of the deck. Someone is wearing a false self mask in this relationship that I feel like it's that ex. And they still, they still have a very tight hold on you. But it's time for you to release that and move forward to something brand new and something fresh. Okay, sorry about that water signs. But yes, I feel like um, you all are deserving of this new love coming in. You've been through a lot. Um, and it's just time, water signs, okay? Even if you're opening up to receive love, from yourself because sometimes we don't even know how to love ourselves therefore how can we accept love from someone else and how can we give love to someone else right all right so i'm going to go ahead and get a surrender oracle for the water signs so if i need a surrender oracle for my water babies What do my water signs, Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio need to surrender?
sticky and it's sticky now. Wow. Surrender unhealthy relationships. This goes with that release your ex. Okay. It says let go of relationships that don't serve you, including unavailable or toxic people. You deserve to be treasured by others and to be surrounded by positive people. Whew, that just resonated with me, collective. I'm a, I'm a Scorpio, so um, I feel like even if this isn't a love or romantic um, relationship you need to release, you need to surrender to any type of toxicity or toxic people that are around you, okay? I feel like this is blocking you from moving forward and listening to your intuition with the high, uh, with the high priestess out here. Because if the high priestess is out here and you're still reluctant, that means you're ignoring your intuition. But that's because there's blockages around you, toxicity, okay? You deserve to be treasured, water signs. Always, always remember that. So I'm going to go ahead and leave it there. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you all in my next video. I love you. <laughs> Ashe.